today's tutorial on how to use our Pilates reformer. So I'm going to go through and name the different pieces of our reformer that our instructors will refer to during class. So this grey part is the moving carriage. So if you hear your instructor refer to the carriage, they mean this piece. This wooden part is referred to as the platform. This grey bar is our foot bar and it moves. To move it, place one hand either side, lift it up and lower. Lift up and lower, up and lower. Our foot bar does move in the other direction. To move it up towards the post, we lift it up, push it towards the post and slide it along. It'll then then lock in place, just like that. To move it back, lift, push it back towards the post and slide it along. Once it hits the edge, click it back in and, and lower it back to our starting position. These ones are referred to as our shoulder rests. These can be pulled out and with a little bit of a jiggle if need be. Our headrest is here. Our straps have a short loop, which is usually used for our hands and straps, and the long loop, which is generally used for our feet and straps. These can be placed back on the hook whenever they're not in use. This is our box, and it has multiple positions. On our reformer, a short box refers to being placed this way in between the shoulder rests and the foot bar. Put, when you place the box on, put it so it's right up against those shoulder rests. Now there are a few certain different exercises where your instructor will ask you to put it over your shoulder rests. We just simply putting it down and again making sure that it's nice and firm. General rule of thumb, it goes in between. A long box position is simply switching the other way around. Again, making sure that it's nice and even pushed up against those shoulder rests. Once you've finished with the box, you just place it back against the wall. Our jump board, first step is you have to move your foot bar down. So lift, lower, and move our safety strap, which we'll get to a bit later on. Lift up the jump board using the handles, and the black part will face you. Place the jump board in the square holes, and that's it. To remove the jump board, grab hold of the handles, lift up, and return it back to the position. Our safety strap, this one's used, you might have two feet underneath it or one foot underneath it, but just listen to your instructor's cues. Our Pilates reformers have five springs, a green spring, a blue spring, a yellow spring, and two red springs. Our heaviest spring is the green, which is equivalent to one and a quarter. Our next heaviest is the red, which is one full spring. Our blue spring is a half spring, and our yellow spring is the lightest spring, which is a quarter of a spring. Your instructor will let you know for different exercises which springs to have on. You simply pull them off the hook and place the next one on. To finish a class, you just place the green anchor spring on, and this one just makes sure that the carriage stays relatively still and doesn't go flying up the end. So at the end of class, one green spring. Place your bar back up to the start position and grab hold of the spray bottle and the cloth. Give your reformer a good spray, wipe it down. If you used your box or your jump board throughout, make sure you give that a spray too as well as the foot bar and any other piece of the equipment that you have touched during the class. Place these back where you found them and that's it 
for today's tutorial. If you do have any questions on how to use the reformer, then feel free to ask your instructors before or after class, and they'll be more than happy to show you. Thanks, bye.